I'd say about 10 hours a week, roughly. Um, uh, probably eight to 10 hours solid, um, not behind the bar. Um, yeah, just throwing, basically throwing bottles around and freestyling, that's about, yeah, eight to 10 hours a week. But when I'm working, you're always, you know, throwing a glass or a tin behind the back. You're always trying to pour three drinks at once. You're always doing little working flare moves, which you don't really count as practice, but it does. It counts as practice. Like every every single time you throw a tin behind your back, you're conditioning yourself to, um, you know, get that coordination and those senses of feeling a bit better. And um, so yeah, I'd say I put in a fair bit of practice, but probably not as much outside of the bar practice as what I'd like to. But summer's coming, so I think things are going to change there. I'd say I practice about two hours a day, five days a week. Basically, coming to work before work, I'll practice for like an hour and a half, and then on my break, I'll practice for like half an hour, just non-stop. And then even at home, if I get time, I'll practice for an hour in the backyard, and even show my brother a few tricks just for fun. Myself, um, I don't practice that much, probably uh, maybe half an hour a week, if that. Um, a couple of years ago, I was, when I was heavily into it, when I wasn't studying, it was um, you know probably a couple of hours. But nowadays, it's mostly when I work. When I'm at work, I throw a bottle around. You know, I mean, um, yeah. But I think to be to be really good, you need to be practicing at least you know three or four hours, five six hours a week, maybe even a couple of hours a day, which I don't do. You know, but um, yeah, I'd I'd like to get start doing more, but I just haven't got the time. Yeah. Um, my favourite place would be work. I know it's, it's much easier, I reckon, inside than being outside with the wind and stuff. It sort of throws your bottles away, like your tins start to float a bit. But so yeah, I'd say at work, anytime then. Pretty much just wide open spaces. Um, it's the best place to do it in. No obstacles. It's the best place to kind of uh, practice and repeat tricks and do things like that. Um, the beach, I live like pretty much right on the beach, so yeah, I'm about not even a minute's walk to the beach, so that's probably the perfect place to do it. <clears throat> um, you know, parks, um, at the restaurant here, we've got a fair bit of floor space, which is nice. And yeah, at the end of the day, in the bar is good as well. If you've got like um, kind of matting underneath you, then it's good simulation to do it behind the bar because you've got you know your hard surfaces and um, kind of obstacles that um, you know kind of teach you to you know stay close to the body and um, yeah be aware basically and uh, yeah awareness is key. But yeah, wide open spaces to to practice and to freestyle, but in the bar for simulation purposes for sure work usually, maybe in the backyard, um, wherever there's empty bottles, I guess. As I said, you've got to enjoy it, you've got to love it, so whenever you get a chance to do it, just pick up a bottle and throw it around, you know. Hopefully it's in a place where you're not going to injure anyone, you know, you're not going to shatter glass and piss anyone off. You know, some people don't like it, some people are really against flaring, some people think it's a waste of time, so usually you try and practice somewhere where you're not going to offend anyone. I mean, you know, wherever you get a chance to, really. Um, no, I've never competed. I've, um, I've been to a few competitions, I've watched a few, but I don't think I'm at anywhere near the level that I want to be at to compete. I'm not confident enough to compete yet. I don't learn my tricks enough. Um, I was, we had the um, World Championship 2006 bartending TGI Fridays Championships held here in Australia at the Southland store in 06 obviously and um, I was one of the bar backs for those bartenders and they were just, they had this freakish ability, they were all from, uh, it was the Asia Pacific Nationals and you watch the guys from the Philippines and China and Japan and they're just really amazing bartenders so I was, um, I was involved in cleaning up all their mess and in between um, their sets I did a little I did a routine of my own, so I was I was involved in that competition, but I've never actually competed. Uh, no, not yet. Uh, I don't really think I'm confident un confident enough in my skills to to do it yet. Um, but yeah, it's definitely something I'd look to do in the not too distant future, just to kind of see where you're at and to see where the competition's at. 
Um, it's def definitely in the definitely in the works. It's definitely what I want to do. Uh, no, not. Um, I really want to, and I'm hoping to soon. We have one at work, and if they actually have some bigger comps in uh, Victoria, I definitely want to enter them and just to see how I go and how I rank up against the rest of people in Melbourne. I'd probably have to say Brad. He's a he's a, sh he's a shit bloke, but he's probably yeah. He's got the best technical skill, but yeah, as much as like a, a bartender and, and like just a bloke, yeah. I, I don't really know what to say about him. Um, you know, I, I don't really rate him. I don't think many others really rate him. Yeah, good flare, but. That's about it. That's about all I can really say about that guy. I think I think um, Brad's the best. Uh, he's um, I don't like him as a person. <laughs> nah, no, um, nah, he's, he's Brad, Brad's Brad's the best out of all three of us. I think he's um, got the best style. He's the most natural, and he's got this freakish ability that I hate about him, that he always lands his tricks every time, you know. I mean, myself and Lukey, to a lesser extent, take us three or four times to land the one trick, and Brattles will see us do it, he'll watch us, and he'll just go, you know, bang, and he'll get it right there and then. And, um, yeah, it's, I, I hate him. I don't like him at all. <laughs> I'd say me. Yeah, I'd have, definitely have to say I'm the best style. I don't know, I've been flaring for a couple more years, I think, with them. I like been going at it like a lot harder and they're, they're, they're doing well but I definitely think I've got the best start. Our uh, newest trick at the moment I've been learning lately would be um, would be two tins and one bottle tricks I've been trying to learn at the moment. It's a bit harder but uh, when you land it looks so much better. Um, I don't know how to explain some of them but um, I know you just, like throw your two tins up and they like spread apart and you gotta like throw your bottles to be able to catch up the tin. It's just yeah, it's really hard, it looks cool though. Uh, that's a pretty hard question. Um, I don't know, there's a trick. It's pretty much after you do a sequence of moves um, and you pretty much get the bottle and you can roll it down your arm and um, turn it into a paw. That's a pretty shit hot move, I think. Um, yeah, I think that's called like a behind the head, um, roll down the arm to pour or something like that. I don't really know the correct terminology, but um, yeah, there's a few things. I can't really think of things off the top of my head. Um, pretty much just when I land something that I know that um, I haven't really landed before or is like quite difficult to land, then that's when I go. That's, I'm you know, pretty happy with that trip. And that's what I do it for. I don't know about the most impressive, but my favorite trick I think is, um, I think they call it the waterfall, where you hold the bottle up and you spin it down and it, it kind of does two rotations and you catch it on the, with, on the neck. Um, it's just a trick that, one, it's one of the first tricks I ever learned and I think it's the most kind of natural looking trick, you know, you can, you can put it into any routine, you can, um, you can do it slow, you can do it fast and it, when you pull it off it just looks really cool and really smooth and really natural.